At electrifying.com, we know that buying a used electric car can be daunting. We surveyed 11,000 people and two thirds of those 11,000 people said that they had worries and concerns over one thing, the battery. So in this video, I'm gonna put your mind at rest and tell you everything that you need to know about the largest and most important part about buying a used electric car. So you really don't need to worry. It's understandable that car buyers are concerned about the battery on a used electric car degrading. After all, we're used to the power capacity of our gadgets shrinking over time, sometimes to the extent that you need to recharge the battery to get you through the day. Firstly, the battery in an electric car is very different to what you get in a mobile phone. I mean, okay, yes, fine, they're kind of made of the same kind of thing, but a car battery is designed to last the lifetime of the car. It is exceptionally well protected and engineered to prolong their life. Do you remember when the new generation of electric cars came out, about 10 years ago, and there were those rumors that you would have to replace the power pack every three years and it was gonna cost you thousands of pounds? <laughs> Didn't happen, did it? No, I mean, look, there will be degradation, but it's gonna take years before it has a major impact on your life and how far the car will take you. Battery's dead, you fine. According to various studies, electric car batteries on average lose less than 10% of their capacity every 100,000 miles. And experience with very early electric cars suggests that a well-looked-after battery will be good for 300,000 miles. As a result, most come with extremely long warranties, up to 10 years in some cases. If the car battery develops a fault or is performing lower than the expected level in this time, then the car's manufacturer will repair it or replace it. <laughs> the average lifespan of a combustion engine car is around 130,000 miles before being scrapped, which means that electric car buyers really don't need to worry. Here's another little fact that people often forget. You see, when a petrol or a diesel car comes to the end of its life, the engines are usually scrapped. But an electric car battery is valuable. They're in demand. So there is resale value. And they are reused in loads of different ways. They could end up being used to store energy from wind and solar, or they could even be used as mobile power banks. So an EV battery will have a second and maybe even a third life before being recycled. You see, they're packed with valuable minerals, which can be extracted and may find their way into new car batteries. Yeah. Now we have more than a decade of experience with the batteries in modern EVs. We know that they have proven to be very reliable, probably more than petrol or diesel engines. But they do lose some of their performance over time and after a lot of charges. So you need to check they're being looked after, just as you would if you're buying a car with a conventional engine, I suppose. When buying a used electric car, check if the car battery is still under the manufacturer's warranty. Here at one of Electrifying.com's used car partners, Car360, they make sure that all of the information about the warranty is available on the cars that they sell. And they also take lovely pictures of them here in their very own studio. Look at that. It's lovely. We also suggest checking exactly what is covered and the process if the battery becomes an issue. There might be some small print about having to get the car annually checked at a dealer, for example. So you're going to want to know that that's happened. The service history might well have a battery health check report included in the paperwork. There might also be a way of checking the health of the battery inside the car's electronic menu. In a Nissan Leaf, for example, there is a simple stack of 12 bars on the battery meter. So if there are fewer than 12, then it means the battery has lost some of its capacity. But the BMW i3 has a monitor on the menus as well. It's all very clever. Other cars might not make it so easy, so you can do some simple sums. A car which is showing 100% charge and only half the expected range might be one for you to pass on, unless you know that you'll be using the car for shorter regular journeys. But here at Car360, they have some clever tech they use on cars that they sell, which will let you know how much capacity is left in the battery. This battery health check gives each car a score out of 100. So watch out for that on our electrifying.com used car listings. Yes, 
electric car batteries can be replaced. But just like a conventional engine, they are designed to last the life of the car, so they shouldn't need to be swapped unless something goes wrong. Yeah. And then it should be covered by a warranty on most of the used electric cars that you're currently looking at. And just like an engine, you can replace individual parts if necessary rather than the whole unit. There are also specialists like the brilliant Cleverly EV based in Cheltenham who can replace individual cells or they can fix faults. But most electric car owners will swap to a newer car anyway, years before they would even have to consider replacing a battery. So it's not really something you need to care about unless you're in a much older car with much larger mileage. Right. Electric cars are usually cheaper to service than conventional petrol or diesel engines. And actually, there's nothing that the owners really have to do to maintain their cars, apart from dropping them off at the dealers once a year or whenever it's required. The technician will then download all the battery data to make sure that everything's working okay. And they might update the software to keep the electronics happy. And then you may find that they unlock some more range. It's lovely. The only possible exception is if you're buying a car which has been accident damaged or mistreated in some way. You should be doing the usual checks or researching your car through a trusted source like electrifying.com to avoid this. But that's true of any used car, not just an electric one. So the fear of replacing an expensive electric car battery shouldn't put you off making the switch to an electric car. So all that's left for me to say is happy car hunting. <laughs>